welcome back to my channel so I just want to explain um, these clips before you guys see it so if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I was trying to make bread I did follow a recipe and it's from cooking with Natasha she is a uh, I don't want to say a local YouTuber, but she's from Trinidad, but I think she lives in Florida now. But she posts like really awesome um, Trinidad dishes and like recipes and stuff like that. But I'll put her links down below so you guys can check out the recipe if you want to make this bread. So before you guys see the other clips, I just want to explain. She used activated yeast. That's how hers um foam up and stuff like that but i had instant yeast and i didn't realize if you throw instant yeast into like any liquids it obviously wouldn't um it will like basically kill the yeast for like that so when you watch that clip you would see that i added the yeast into warm milk it was activated yeast that i supposed to use but i used instant yeast so i did a little adjustment to her recipe obviously i didn't follow the the full recipe I just I did my own thing and I have my own twist on it nevertheless the bread turned out amazing so delicious so yeah I would link her recipe down below if you guys want to follow the recipe that I did where I do my own concoction I would definitely put that in the links down below but yeah I just wanted to explain that another thing as well when you watch a clip she used whole milk I did not have whole milk so I used carnation milk so the recipe called for one cup of carnation milk and what I basically did I just half cup of carnation milk to half cup of water and you got whole milk boom yeah so you'll see that as well so i just wanted to come on here and explain that before you guys watch that clip so yeah let me know keep you back okay let me shut up and go check it out so guys this is the recipe to make this bread so you're gonna need two and a half cups of amusing all-purpose flour but you can use bread flour as well four tablespoons of melted butter one egg a cup of whole milk I did not have whole milk so I used carnation milk and add half cup of carnation milk and half cup of water and two teaspoon of sugar teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoon of dry yeast so in my bowl I'm going to combine my butter sugar an egg mixture and i'll show you guys i'm using a glass bowl here so you guys can see what i'm doing but in this bowl i'm just going to combine the milk that i have here as well as sugar and my yeast and what you want to do you want to whisk this until it's combined i don't have a whisk i can't find it at the moment so what i'm going to use is basically a fork so you mix this and set aside until it's like basically like a foam consistency so this is the mixture of the yeast as well as the sugar and the milk so i'm just going to skin this until like the sugar is incorporated and then we're going to set this aside until it forms up and then we're going to add the melted butter and the egg as well as the remainder of the salt so guys right now currently i'm waiting on my um yeast and milk to foam up i don't know if she used activated yeast i am using basically regular yeast that i have here so i'm not sure how that will go but i'm gonna wait five minutes and see if it foams and i'll let you guys know on how this goes by the way this is my first time making this bread i usually don't bake bread <laughs> um i'll tell you guys a quick story time when i'm done with all of this but yeah so mm -hmm. so guys it's about five minutes and the yeast hasn't even started to rise as yet i don't know if i did something wrong but it's not even close to looking like fruity or like how she had it in her video so i'm not bother going to wait I'm gonna just continue to do the next step. So the other step is to add the melted butter 
and an egg to the to the yeast mixture. So I'm just going to add the melted butter as well as the egg and I'm going to mix this and then I'm going to add the salt to this. So we have everything in here. I'm just going to mix this up. She did say that the dough is supposed to be a bit on the sticky side. So I'm going to add the salt to this now. This is what it looks like, the mixture. I just um, whisk everything and I'm going to add my flour. I did add a little more yeast to my flour just in case this the yeast that I added in the milk here didn't work out or whatever, but I did add about maybe half a teaspoon of yeast to this flour. Obviously, this is not the correct recipe. I am going kind of salt with this, but I'm gonna let you guys know what comes out. So I'm adding my flour and then show you guys. Yeah. Little by little, so I'm adding half, and I'm gonna mix this, and then I'm gonna add in the next half. I'm just gonna go in with my hand and just knead this properly here. So this is how the dough looks after it's been kneaded. What I did, I just used some wax paper to cover it. And what I did, I oiled the wax paper so when the dough raised, it doesn't stick to the wax paper. And you set it aside. So after my dough raised, I form my dough into small little balls and put it aside to rest again to raise. And after it's been risen for the second time, I'm gonna pop it into the oven. So I had my oven preheating at 350 degrees, so I'm going to pop it in there and leave it for 30 to 35 minutes. Make sure and check it when it reaches like 30 minutes. So guys, my bread turned out amazing. I am definitely a proud mom right now. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> 